Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, it's been a long morning and I've been a lot of uh, people before you. But uh, let me just say, you know, Tanisha? Tanisha. There before the grace of God go I. And I think that was her message. You could be in the same boat one day. So it is incumbent upon us to do the things we need to do to make sure people have affordable housing. I've been here every, it seems like this, y'all are coming down here every two months, aren't you? It seems like I was just here, like I, I was riding over, I said, it's here already again? And then, but that's all right, it's good to see people that are active and proactive in the areas where we need the support. I'm not gonna be very long because I see the senator is here with me. Um, but let me just say something about North New Jersey. Um, you know, it is, um, it is a, re a renaissance going on uh, in Newark. Uh, but um, during my time as president of Newark City Council while Senator Booker was mayor, I fought, I fought very hard to make sure that what we see in Hoboken, what we saw in Weehawk, and what we see in Jersey City did not happen to Newark as people being forced out. You know, and there was a time, you know, it's cute to move to Newark now. Yeah. 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 I remember, I remember when it wasn't cute. I live on the same street that I moved there from when I was born, in the same, well, no, we made a big move, I'm sorry, we made one big move in my life. We moved from 14 bucks to 19 bucks <laughs> across the street. And I'm third generation of the Payne family raising my triplets on the same street where I was raised. Wow. So my commitment is to Newark and affordable housing. I can't go anywhere else. Seriously, I can't go anywhere else. And I don't want to go anywhere else. And I've instilled that in my children. We have an administration here. You thought it was bad before. You know how it is now, right? What we're going through is we got we got a brain surgeon that thinks he knows about housing. <laughs> and let me tell you, I'm surprised he's still alive because if that story was true about him pulling a knife for his mama, the same mama I know in Newark, that boy still seems to be So she must have busted on side of the house because he acts crazy. <laughs> so she did, she, she, she must have busted on the side of the house. Because what we see in this administration is criminal. It is harboring on criminality. But you have great leaders like Senator Menendez, like Senator Booker, and me bringing up the rear to make sure that they are not successful. We're gonna hold the fort. We're gonna do what we can to make sure that everyone, everyone in the great state of New Jersey has the opportunity to benefit from the greatness of this country and live in affordable, quality housing. And that's a commitment from me. Thank you.